Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be making an arrangement, possibly to sell on Facebook. So I paid a dollar for this, right? So we'll count this, right? I just want to get my dollar back plus another dollar. So I'll say $2. And then these, I think I would sell for $4, right? Like a size like this, $4. Um, so let's see how much it's gonna be. Four. So that's six, six. This is really pretty six. Um, six. It might be too big. I'm not sure. So we'll see. It, it, this I might have to change the whole thing because I'm not sure. So let's just add it up real quick. So just to guess right now, even though I haven't um, made up my mind. So let's say three plants, four dollars each which I was selling this for more, but we'll just make it four, right? That's 12, 12, 13, 14, $14, that's pretty good. Like that's cheap in my opinion. Like if you go to Home Depot, that's pretty cheap. So we'll just see what happens. I feel like in order to get people interested, it has to be, you know, kind of cheap. So I don't know. So we'll see. So. Let me start. I don't even know if all this is going to fit here. I don't know if I'm going to like it. So, really, 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 Because originally, I was going to do smaller plants. Did I say... Guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't think I did. Anyway, sorry, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, that's like an angry house. And like I said, I'm making this arrangement. Wait, not too much soil because these have soil and it's like fresh soil look I, this is what i propagated so if you have this it's called the watch chain if you struggle with it getting like dry here and stuff like that i'm just gonna tell you that it likes water you have to water it at least here once a week here right but when summertime comes i think i'll have to water it twice a week and it's already right here you can tell that it hadn't rained i haven't been watering lately it's couple um past couple weeks because we've been getting a lot of rain and still that has something to say <laughs> still about the rain but it was very easy to propagate and look at that i think i had shown you guys look at all that i believe i had shown you guys when i propagated it so, yeah There's some charcoal pieces in it. We'll see what happens here like that. Charlie! Charlie! No! Sorry guys, Charlie was chewing up. Well, he was um, lifting up the, the grass over there. And um, I guess he had found something. He was trying to pull it out. So, yeah. Initially, like I was telling you guys that um leave it charlie leave it let me let me take him out of here for a second hold on okay guys um yeah initially i was going to do small succulents but i don't know i guess because i don't i didn't have like a s small watch chain i don't know why i decided to do bigger one i mean i could have split that but i really didn't want to this is just tall already and stuff like that so i don't know I just went with this, so we'll see. Look at how cute this is. This always starts off really good for me, but in the summer, I don't know, it gets bad. It could be, again, it likes water. So this one falls in the same category as this one. All the plants that I'm putting on in here, actually, they actually will complement each other. And what I like about this right now is that I am doing... um no matter which way you put this, it's going to look good, you know? Hold on, let me see something here. Um, like, there's, it, it goes all around. The planner is going to look good all around. That's what I mean about with that. Okay. What's he doing? Okay, I don't know if I should leave all this interruption on here so you guys can see. But um, Charlie is outside because, you know, he's young. He's got a lot of energy. So he needs to take that energy out and not inside because 
inside he can be you know and not only that maxi is roaming around um the house so i don't want him while i'm out here messing with her because he will um because he wants to play and um you know i just i don't like i i like them supervised you know because he's still young so yeah but um speaking of maxi as you guys seen um maxi um started having seizures and we had to go to the emergency room but she's doing much better now um today will be the second day of her being um like only on one new medication and her old medication and we're looking to see that the seizures don't come back with that combination so as long as the seizures don't come back with that combination everything is good so yeah I am currently, um, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm trying to clean this um, one up here because it all looks good more towards the bottom, but maybe not so good towards the top, but it's typical for this plant to do that. Like I said, this one likes water and apparently in her opinion, I don't know, it's not enough water, but it could have been also, we've been getting um, like random rain and then the sun comes out and here's what happens here's an example of what happens when it rains and the sun comes out anything <coughs> when water stays on the plant like this and the sun hits it directly this is what's gonna happen see it's not it's not because it took too much water here it's because the water sat on top of it and the sun came and kind of like cooked that so those um those leaves will start to fall. So yeah. Let's see if I can use this. So yeah, so I want to thank you all for your prayers and your thoughts regarding Maxi. I really appreciate you guys. Many of you guys love Maxi. So, yeah. It is, you know, I don't know. It is so stressful, you know, when that happens. The unknown. Not only that, that that's very unexpected and, you know, unexpected bill. And you guys, if you guys have dogs, or pets that you have to take to the emergency room, you know how, how that is, so, yeah. You know what? I don't think I like this because it's not a tall pot. It's short, it's not a hanging pot. So that's just gonna be sitting on the ground. So I don't like that. So we're just gonna change the plan. I'm gonna look for something else. Let me come back. Okay. Well, you guys should see how clean everything is. Even though I just cleaned yesterday and already there's leaves on the ground and um, pine needles. But like the ground is clean. There's so much I still need to do. I've been busy. I haven't been doing anything out here with Max because of Maxie and take care of her and just summer and the kids, everything.
It's only because I have it. I don't remember how much I paid for it. So I don't know if this is like a good thing to use on a regular basis, you know, because you don't want it to be, you don't want to invest too much on your arrangement if you're not sawing it for, you know, that much. So cute little moss right here. They can take it out if they want to. It's only like in the little where there's no plant, pretty much. Um, I think I should put a little bit around the edges. And if I had like a cute little figure, I would even put that on there. Just trying to see. I can definitely up the price if I do things like that. And it's really just to see, you know, um, if that will might call more attraction to your, to your arrangements. That looks really cute, right? Let me see um, what else I can find. Okay, guys. So, um, I found this little cute gnome that I got from the Dollar Tree. I don't always like all their little gnomes, but this one I really like. If I just like that it, it just had the traditional one with no eyes, and it just looked like well made. So I do like that. But when I went to the greenhouse, uh, I found. This little cow and koi. Look at how cute it is. Look, it's already rooted. I, I, it broke off, so I had put it in the greenhouse to do something with it. So I think it's actually kind of perfect to put around here. So let's see. It's so cute. And it's already got like a lot of root. Look at that. Actually, there might be no room now for the gnome. So, I might have to go with no gnome. We'll see. Yeah, that's super cute in there. Maybe the gnome could sit here, like next to it right there yeah I think that looks cute I think that works I think that looks really really good Oh, that gave it such a good touch. That's what I was missing. I'm glad that I saw it. 
now I actually would like to put like, I don't know, just a few little rocks here and there just to give it more also of a natural look, you know? Hey guys, before I end the video and show you um, what it turned out like, I forgot to show you this arrangement. Super cute. I like the calanchoes in there. Um, so calanchoes, you can control their growth by keeping them in a small pot and they shouldn't get too big. An example of um, where like if it's in a big pot, look at that. And I didn't plant that there. That actually fell in there and it just took over and I let it take over. So there it is. Look at how big it is. And then here I have a few more. See how big they are? So, and I mean, I guess, so here's a couple and these are old. And the reason they stayed small is because there's, there's a couple of them in there. But when you put one in a size like this, look at how big it can still get. So, um, yeah, it's best to put a couple together if you don't want them to get big. And so, yeah, so, so I wanted to show you guys. Let me show you guys uh, real quickly as well around because I said that I was going to show you and I forgot of how everything is clean. So obviously all this was clean, but like I said, um, last night stuff fell. That's what happened. Look at this beautiful, um, I forgot what it's called, plumeria? I think it is, right? It's just coming to my head, so I think it's plumeria. The one that I found in the trash, look at how beautiful it is. And the flowers are so pretty. These are perfect to like stick in your ear, you know, like those cute little flowers that people put in their ear. So cute. Okay, so let me not make you dizzy. Let me uh, go gently around. So as you can see, everything is clean, even over there, like on the ground, there's Charlie destroying something that he found. I should tell him to stop, but I just let him have it. There is some pots again that I need to clean because I've been like, you know, repotting stuff and went dirty pots, I'll just put them in the corner so that when I get a chance to clean them, I can clean them. Oh, this area, I've been working in this area trying to, you know, make it look nice and neat and repotting some of the pots that need to be repotted. And look at that cute little fountain. I put um, the head, little hedgehog in there, porcupine, whatever it is. And I think it looks so cute. So yeah, so I've been trying. It's not easy, but I, but I like it though. So I'm not stressed over it. I'll take it as one of my workout days. I like I, so yesterday, I started at seven early in the morning before it gets really hot, so I can be done before it gets really hot. So I was done around 11, I would say, cleaning everything. I still um, like didn't get a chance to pick up leaves or whatever's fallen back there. That's the only thing I didn't get a chance, but around here, like I did. I cleaned around the rock as much as I could. And yeah, tables do need attention with plants in it they need attention but i don't have a chance to um, get to them right this minute but yeah right now i'm trying to you know do repotting so that um plants that need to be repotted are repotted because if not they'll start to struggle so that's what i'm trying to do and um yeah even on the other side i cleaned the only thing i didn't get to do was weed whack because well the sun is always over there first and there's lots of shade here. So I started on this side, just cleaning this area. And look, so I cleaned last night and look, you can see already <laughs> all the leaves on the ground. Look at all the mangoes. So we're thankful for the mangoes. We love mangoes. So, um, yeah, I, so I was, I'm still planning on wee whacking. I need to wee whack over there today. And um, that's what I did. Look at how cute the little turtle looks over there getting hit by the sun so cute i like little areas like that little areas of sunshine i always see them and i'm like oh i could put a nice plant there <laughs> it depends how long the sun is lasting but so i did clean but there's a lot of things like pots i need attention and that's what i need to get to but it's just really hard there's just a lot you know of work and stuff like that and then there's still i have to try not to buy more plants because there's still plants that I need to repot in there so yeah I did um I did propagate all these 
Well, I took them out of a, a pot and because I wanted to use it for something else. And I just, since the plant, like the whole, um, the body of the plant wasn't looking good, I just made a bunch of cuttings, put them in there, and they're going to do good. Those are um, California Sunset. There might be some sort of, I think it's called Sorrento um, shoved in there. I'm not sure. But yeah. You see, I want to have stuff here, but I think it takes too long to get sun. Like, this gets sun in the evening, in the afternoon. So, I feel like, I don't know, like, they're sitting in humidity for so long waiting for the sun. So, I don't know if I should move things. Anyways, um, and then as you can see, I have a whole bunch of plants over there. They're doing good underneath the pergola. So, yeah. That's it guys, because it, it wasn't my intention to make a full video. I still need to put rocks around this thing. It's just that I have to order the rocks because <laughs> I don't want to buy bags of rocks. Or maybe I should, it, the problem is the the bag, the rocks that I have, they don't sell them in bags. Because I had purchased that from a place where they, you know, where you order like a big yards and yards of rock. So, but I don't find that kind of rock in, in a bag. So yeah. Look at how cute this stump is looking. This um, fern is growing out of it. So I left it alone. It's looking so cute. So yeah. Anyways guys, I hope you like... Oh, okay. So yeah, I'll now go to the ending of the video. Okay guys, look, there it is. It's so cute. What do you guys think? Let me take this off. Here it is guys. Here's a better look at it. Isn't it cute? So yeah, so now, hmm, I'm kind of thinking about the price. So guess, uh, um, leave in the comments below of what you think um, I'm going to list it out and we'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You guys have a blessed day.